Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Fuck what you heard, man. If you ain't watched that Ting Davis and Leo Santa Cruz fight yesterday, I don't know what you was doing. That shit was crazy. That was a hell of a fight night. It lived up for uh, to its pay-per-view um, um, <laughs> um, um, expectations. I don't know about numbers-wise, but fight-wise, definitely. All of the fights ended in knockouts. Every single fight. Uh, the, the Two Fuego fight started with Two Fuego. Two Fuego, he got knocked the fuck out within uh, 56 seconds. And I'm not taking nothing away from him, you know what I mean? But dude hopped on him in the first round early on, uh, dropped him in the first 30 seconds, and then hopped right back on him and then finished him with a brutal uh, uppercut um, uh, about a 56 second of the first round. So it, it, it instantly moved on. Like this pay-per-view was actually fairly fast. Like this was a, a, a real fast pay-per-view on the low. So it, like it, it, it moved on to Regis Pro Grade. Um, I thought that it was going to be Barrios first. I don't know why, but Regis Progre, um fought. He fought this undefeated fighter. I forgot who it is, but dude was definitely sure of himself uh, from um, from um, the press conferences to the weigh-ins to everywhere. Like, And even when he got in the ring, like doing, you know, just warming himself up, psyching himself up, he was hella sure of himself. And, he's, and it makes sense because he was undefeated, but Regis Progre, he was just chilling back. He missed weight. And, like, the way his demeanor was, it seemed like uh, he missed weight. Like, you know what I mean? He, he looked like a bear waking up out of hibernation pretty much. Like, he, he was just walking around. Like, and it makes sense because, like, he didn't even have a chance to warm up or anything because, like, that fight was so fast. I couldn't imagine him really, really warming up. But um, he, 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 he starts stretching his arms, you know. just But it was really a taunt when he was stretching his arms. But, like, you know, he was just getting... Uh, ready whenever they're saying his name and then the fight started and um he took control of the fight fairly easily um the guy um uh, he, he he has a fast one two and um and he he counters well but at the same time uh regis progray um he does very he, he boxes like really well like he's slick like he he does small movements he doesn't he doesn't waste movements like the guy was uh over exaggerating his movements, which uh, easily tires you out way faster than with, with, like which was necessary. So that's why um, I, I, it makes sense why we just uh, uh, finished him pretty much really uh, simple, uh, re fa fairly easily. Um, Regis, um, like again, like I said, like he moves um, with inches pretty much, just like in boxes, you move um, you move in inches. So um, he was making the guy miss. Um, uh, just by inches, and he was countering strong, like, um, so that shit tacked on <laughs> real fast, so eventually he ended up dropping the guys, and the guy was surprised, <laughs> he didn't expect that, but it was, a, he knew that he got dropped, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a flash knockdown, it was one of those, whoa, this guy actually hits hard knockdowns, so then he got back up, Regis pounced on him, um, and, um, it was a weird, uh, finish, but it was an understanding finish. Like, Reed just start working to the body. If, if you see certain camera angles, it look weird, but if you get the right camera angle, Reed just was working, um, under, uh, underneath his armpit, like, to the ribs and working the body and stuff to finish him and was trying to land up top and, um, and, uh, the ref waved it off and the guy, he, he didn't complain because he knew if like if the, the, the like the, it was early in the round too like if, if the guy would have got hit with like i guess two more flesh shots he would have probably been out cold you know what i mean and not out cold he would have definitely been uh concussed a little bit so um the ref did the right thing stopping that fight that was a hell of a fight then it moved on to the mario barrios and the cowboy fight which was a hell of a fight cowboy he's so awkward and it's and i knew <laughs> I wanted, I, I kind of wanted him to win because Barrios, in my opinion, lost his last fight. But I did, but but not taking nothing away from Barrios, it was still a tough, um, it's still a close fight in the last fight. In this fight, Barrios reminded us of who he really uh, is. He picked Cowboy apart. Cowboy, he was, it was it was a nice try. He 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 did a hell of a job. He landed some good uh, shots as well. But he was technically a weaker opposition than the guy who. Um, who arguably beat Barrios in the last fight. So um, the fight's going on, and um, and Cowboy, he's um, pushing the pace with awkward one-twos and trying to get in there and, and, and trying to get in um, to, to uh, make it a close, um, a close, um, 
a close fight, a close distance fight, um, instead of a, a long range or a mid range fight, he wanted to get like a close range fight. Um, but Barrios was um, using his jab uh, nicely, and he was countering well. Like he was picking his shots real, real well, and that's what a lot of these prospects have in common. Like a lot of these prospects, they understand what punch to throw at the right time. And Barrios, he reminded us that that's what he's really good at. You know what I mean? So he was um, putting those punches together real well and stopping Cowboy from getting in. And eventually, those punches wore down Cowboy. But um, Cowboy. In my opinion, I feel like he had a couple, he had at least like three, four more rounds uh, in him. But the problem was um, they had a clash of heads. So then his head started leaking real bad. Cowboy's head started leaking real bad. And then, um, if I'm not mistaken, he got dropped. Wait a minute. No, yeah, he got dropped before his head, um, before his head um, got bust. But then his head got bust. And, and not, not, not to mention, when he got dropped, he got back up strong. And he got back into the fight. But then whenever they had that clash of heads, it's like that's when everything just simmered down with him. Just, just, it just started just going downhill, like, really fast, actually. Like, you just seen his energy just going down. And then eventually, um, he had enough. He got hit with a, um, what was it? I think an uppercut. And then, like, I think, like, two hooks or something like that. And then his, and then he just he just fell over. And the ref rolled and just called it quits. Because the um, the doctor even said I, he got a couple more rounds in him. He didn't even say, like, you know, he's good to go. He said, yeah, he, he's good for a little bit. Like, pretty much. So, it makes sense why, like, if he took too, too much more punishment, they had to stop it because his head was pouring. But not taking nothing away from Barrios. Barrios, I feel like, would have stopped him anyway. But it would have been just a little bit more rounds um, later. Not, not that soon. Um, but it was a hell of a fight. Cowboy gave it his all. He's got to go back to the drawing board with his boxing. He 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 takes big steps. He he got a wide stance. He's just I don't know if that's I don't know if that's who he all I don't know if that's what he always is. But in that fight, he was looking um he was looking like an amateur. He was looking like an amateur, an athletic amateur. Um, but he had success in the fight because Barrios he knew Barrios was there to be hit. But Barrios um did his thing, stopped him. My my thing is Barrios needs to. Um, learn to throw more punches. You gotta work more on his um, offensive side. We know you're a counter puncher. We know you can fight off the back foot. We know you can fight laterally. We know you can even fight coming forward a little bit. But show us you can really fight coming forward, though. Not, not, not just against weak opposition. Because Cowboy was, he, he, he was there to be hit. Like let's just say that he was there to be hit. And may, and he can crack. He can crack because he got, he got, he got, he got. Um, I think he only went the distance four times. I think he had 12 knockouts, 16, 16 and 2 or something like that. Now he's 16 and 3. So, like, that was a hell of a fight. And then we get into the main event. Before we get into the main event, just, let, 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 let's just go through it real quick. In this, um, in this stadium, it was like, it's like historically black fighters versus Mexicans. Or um, the, the black fighters always got the shorter, in, shorter end of the stick in those fights and not just shorter in the sticks like only really per, only person who really got a short, shorter in the stick was uh, Pernell Whitaker against Chavez because they gave it a draw with, when uh, Pernell really won that fight but then I'm missing a fight I think there was a fight in between that that a black fighter lost against a Mexican um, and then Adrian Broner I think took his first L against Maidana um, there I think that was his first L um, he, 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 took, he took that L against Maidana there and then Tank came. And I'm like, yo, Tank got to avenge all of these black fighters. You know what I mean? I was rooting for Tank, but I'm like, shit, like, Leo Leo is nothing to uh, sleep on. You know what I mean? So the, the fight start, I give, uh, I really give uh, Leo the first round, but the round uh, started real well. Tank was throwing way more punches than we ever see him throwing. Um, he was countering well, but every every time he tried to leave out uh, the back door, he was getting uh, caught with one twos, and Leo would pounce on him at times, and then uh, hit him with a couple punches. Um, and he backed up, he backed up Tank a few times throughout this fight, um, but Tank uh, also negated Leo's um, game plan from round one. You could have gave you could have gave uh, Tank round one for the simple fact of Leo kept talking about I'm gonna box him for six rounds and then and then uh, pounce on him and then pounce on him um, uh, seven through twelve. Uh, but from round one, 
that man, uh, that man <laughs> hopped on Leo and, and, and made sure Leo knew that Leo couldn't, um, couldn't circle the ring because he just knew that Tank could cut the ring off real well, especially how, how Tank was, um, was in his face so fast. So it was like one of those things where he forced Leo out of his game plan the minute the fight started and the, and he made him fight, um, Tank. And, and it backfired on Tank at times where Tank was getting caught with some shots. He was getting caught with some shots where, like, like his eye got fucked up, like, early on. And then he then, then, then Leo would start targeting that eye. And, like, Leo had succession. Like, me, personally, I had a 3-3 um, before, it, um, before it ended. I had a 3-3. Um, I, had it, I had it a draw. Um, but... You could have had a lot of those rounds going either way because they were so tight. Like Tank was doing his thing, he was landing big uppercuts on um, Leo, really all through the fight. And Tank was throwing hella punches through this fight. I was so proud of him, like just watching. I'm like, holy shit, this is not the Tank that we expected. But he he was taking hella chances and he was getting caught and he scared me a couple times because I thought he was gonna get stopped because he got hurt a couple times. He got hurt a couple times by Leo. And um, Leo got cocky. Like um, it was like 30 seconds left of was it round six or was it round seven? I think I think the fight ended uh, round seven, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. If it was round six, if it was round six. Then I had um, then I had it a draw, meaning like I think I had Tank winning that that round anyway. But um, but regardless. Leo um, got cocky because he knew that he could land on Tank after a while. So um, he was having success in that round. He, have, he was having hella success. But then I think he tripled up on his cross whenever he had his back against the ropes. I don't know if he was tired. I think I think it was more so he, he just got cocky. He was in the moment and he got cocky. And um, he landed one of them, I think. And... Um, and uh, he he went for like two more, and Tank like missed. Uh, he missed Tank with the other one, and then Tank like I guess like baited him. And the minute he threw that other one, Tank shot his uppercut like he's been uh, shooting throughout this fight, and and it was literally lights out for that man. It was literally lights out for Leo. I was like, holy shit! He knocked that boy the fuck out. He's out. He's out. Me and my uncle was watching. I was going crazy. I'm like, holy shit, because he was scaring me. I'm like, yo, this man is touching you too much. You came out with Uzi, Uzi. Uh, you know what I mean? He had everything litty. I was tweaking. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm just like, oh, she got the Verdian out here. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's going down. But then he was getting touched through that fight. Like, he was getting touched. Like, and I was, I was scared for him. And knock that boy out and the crazy thing about it before this fight happened if you watch some of my um if you watch my take on it um like i think like two videos ago on this uh on this topic i said that i see this fight being a uh, um a triple g canelo one except with smaller with the smaller guys with with uh with um tank being the canelo and um leo being that triple g and that's what this fight was. But he got caught on the button. He caught him dead on the chin with a flush shot. And like I was saying before, with Mario Boris about some of these prospects, just knowing how to throw that perfect punch, like just knowing when to time someone with that with, with the right punch at the right time. Tank is is a is a master of that. That's just what he do. Like you like even haters of Tank, they can never take that away from Tank is his his timing of throwing the right punch at the right time. And he threw that uppercut on some Canelo shit and lit his head up. He melted that boy so fast. His dad reached over and tried to wake him up. I'm like, holy shit, no. I was worried for Leo how bad he did him. I ain't even gonna stunt. I was like, holy shit, this man he killed him for a second. Crazy thing about it, going into that round, um, um, Leo's brothers like look like you're winning now two more rounds we take him into deep water or something like that He said like two more rounds we take him into deep water 
So I don't think I had a three three. I had probably like two two or some shit like that. And I forgot what 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 round it actually ended in. I think it ended in the six though. I'll, we'll get to it. We'll, I'll get to that later. But um, he told him two more rounds. We take him in a deep water. Goes into that round. He's doing a hell of a job. But then Tank, he's landed on Tank too much for Tank's liking. So Tank start walking him down on some. I ain't going to stun on some Crawford shit. So Crawford, she just walking him down, high guard, and it was Crawford and Floyd. He was on some Floyd shit, like, because I know he got some little, I know he do tit for tat with Crawford sometimes, but he was on some Floyd shit with it, too, <coughs> where, well, and, and AB, walking him down um, high guard and then just catching all of the shots that's coming in. So he started doing that, um, walking um, Leo around. While Leo was getting some shots in, he a lot of them was landing on Tank's glove as well, but shots was getting in, and it was scaring me. But at the same time, it was working in the Tank's game plan, where, like, eventually he backed Leo to the ropes with that with that, uh, with that, um, with that, that game plan, walking him down high guard. And um, that's where Leo got cocky through, like, three crosses in succession, um, not in succession. He threw three. Um, he threw three crosses in a row, and and he got caught. He was like strike one, strike two, and strike three. You're out. Like he literally was out for the longest. It was like when Pacquiao got knocked out by Marquez, just like out like a light. I was like, holy shit. So like me personally, I feel like Tank. He's easily. He easily should be on the pound for pound after that performance. Like, that was a scary-ass performance. That was spooky. It was spooky in the sense of, holy shit, is, is Tank, like, going to get stopped? Like, because at times I was thinking, like, yo, this man's getting landed on way too much for me. And then his eyes start swelling up. I'm like, what's going on? Then it got spooky when he damn near killed Leo. In the blink of an eye, one punch, on a button. I'm like, <laughs> you don't, it don't get better than this. It don't get no better than this. I, like, 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 like. All of the doubt I had for Tank goes out the window. He proved he proved me wrong with any doubt I ever had of him. Like I, I had him winning this fight because I know of him. Like I know of his potential. Like I was telling my brother before. Like uh, the fans of Tank and um, and um, I can't even say the fans. Like the dick eaters of Tank. Um, uh, Tank's uh, work ethic in the gym is is the only problem I have for Tank. Tank is a person and Tank is a boxer I love. So I'm a root for the man, but I just want him to show me that he wants to be here. And that's what was scaring me throughout the fight at times, even though I had a draw going into that knockout. That's what had me scared. That, that's what scared me at times, especially whenever I thought he, he got knocked down. But their feet got tangled up, but he did. He, he was backing him up. I'm like, what the fuck? So, like, after this, Tank got to just go even harder. Go even harder, man. Because, like, he... Like, he like, he deserves to take Loma's spot on that ESPN pound-for-pound pound list easily. Like, give give that shit to Tank. And let Tank somehow beat Tail Fimo, which I have him being able to beat Tail. And let, let, us say, let, let, let us see if he can stop Ryan somehow or beat Ryan. Let's see if he can beat um, Shakur. Let's see if he can beat Devin. And that man, he's easily a uh, top three pound for pound. Easily, easily. I can't, like, like nobody can even argue that. He's easily top three pound for pound. And depending what the other top two was doing while he, while he knocked off all of them, if they haven't been fighting people of that, um, of that caliber of, um, not competition, but of um, hype, because these is built fights for Tank right now. You know what I mean? If, if these other top two... Um, pound for pound, people don't fight. People of those like uh, stardom, if you will, or whatever, like of hype of for for fight. Then 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 Tank could arguably be number one or number two. That's what I'm saying. He'll easily be in the top three, easily, easily. So like shit, he put everybody on notice with that one, and he said he would. I'm so proud of the kid. Like and man was like the same age. I think he's about turning 26 now. I'm 26, but you know, I'm proud of him, man. I'm proud of him. Like he's he he did what he is supposed to do. I can't say it enough how how proud of how proud of him I am. Cause he scared me. And that's what makes a great pay-per-view star though. Because you can root for the guy, but at the same time, if he take chances and and it's a possibility he can lose, then it's like, damn, I gotta see this. It's why people watch Floyd. Cause they're like, yo, 
everybody that they want, every every person that that uh, he start fighting after a while, they're like, shit, I got him beating Floyd. Shit, I got him beating Floyd. Shit, I got him beating Floyd. Because Floyd was touched or blah, 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 blah. And what happened? Floyd beat him. You know what I mean? Not even being on the funny shit. It just is what it is. It's the same exact thing with Crawford. You know what I mean? Let this man go ahead and, and knock off these other people who, who I don't know if he can beat. I know he can beat Tao in my eyes. I possibly feel like he can beat Ryan with a body and, and somehow wear him down. But if he can't get caught like how he is getting caught with Leo or he's out like a light. But if he can somehow beat all of them, shit, all four of them, shit. Give that boy his, give that boy his flowers, all of them. But <laughs> what do you think? What did you think about that fight yesterday? Did you who, who did you have winning going into that knockout? What did you think of all all of the other courts, all three of the other courts, um, all the other three, all of the other three uh, fights? Um, do you feel like Regis did enough to uh, to um, get um, a rematch sooner than later against Taylor? Um, because at the end of the day, like he's 140, Barrios is 40. Like, do you see him and Barrios fighting in the near future? They both handled their business. That'll be a great fight. You know what I mean? They're both counter punchers, but Regis not to step on that gas a little bit more. So that's the scary thing for me. And Regis hit harder, so it's like, Neh. but what do you think? And um, do you, where do you think uh, th this uh, fight lands? Uh, Tank Davis. Where do you where you where do you put him? At in the pound for pound rankings, if he's even there, but I put him there. I put him. I, I, he takes away Loma's spot, and that's just me being generous. Because realistically, he'll take Tia, he'll take Tail's spot easily in my eyes right now. Like, but I ain't going to go all into that. I'm gonna say he's in Loma's. <laughs> I ain't gonna go all crazy. But what do you guys think? If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. And did you like Uzi walking about yesterday? And did you like uh, Floyd's wardrobe? And there's a lot to discuss. Just let me know what you thought about yesterday. All in all, um, happy Halloween belated or whatever to you guys. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.